Hello. Okay, so this video is about Miley's performance of the Teen Choice Awards 09. Okay, I would like to start off with everyone's dedicated to their opinions, and um, their opinion might be different than mine, that's okay. But um, this is probably going to be a really long video. Okay, let's start off with the trailer. I have to say her whole performance was awesome. I think her voice sounded great. I'm not completely, I'm not obsessed with her. But I really think she, did, she really did a good job with that performance. I enjoyed it. The thing about the trailer, well, not everyone from Nashville, Tennessee is from a trailer. And I read her book, and she says that's where I come from. And we're like, yeah, we get it. But then do you, you decide just now to tell us if you're from a trailer in one performance? I was confused. I was like, huh? Well, if it is, it doesn't really matter. But that's kind of an insult to people who live in Nashville, Tennessee, because not everybody lives in a trailer there. That's all I have to say. Other than that, I mean, it was a pretty trailer. I mean, it was all colorful. It was just like, that's kind of, that's kind of weird. It's kind of, a little trashy. I don't know. Okay, her outfit. I thought she looked awesome in it. But personally, at 16, no. My parents would not let me walk out the house with my bra or something like that. The short, sorry. The short shorts, um, I've worn those around my house. Yeah, I'm allowed to do that. I'm probably allowed to wear that shirt with something under it, maybe. And the boots? Yeah, I don't. I probably wouldn't even wear those boots. I don't know if they were boots. I couldn't really see them, but um, my mom would not let me walk out of the house. And then her second outfit with her boobs. I mean, at least I mean you should see some teenagers wear push-up bras today. That's even worse. But that I mean they're natural, you know. But uh, no, that. Oh my god, with my boobs. Oh my god, my mom didn't even let me have like like longer than cuts like this I mean she was walking up first of all that thing that was in her hair was a really bad touch it was like hanging I don't know that's really weird it was a really cute outfit it was gorgeous but 16 wow and just because she wears that doesn't mean she's a slut y'all just call her a slut and you have no proof and also to parents out there if you have to rely on a Disney star to be their role model not a good parent. You should be their role model. They shouldn't have to look past you. Obviously, they're going to look at it and be like, oh, I want to be like her. That's great. They shouldn't copy everything she does. You need to teach them that. That's pretty sad if they have, that's what all they have and they can't look up at you. You need to teach your kids the right way. Also, to people who are all Christians, just because people don't do everything that Christians are supposed to do or whatever, she apparently goes to church all the time. doesn't matter if she's following us or not. We don't know if she's not. So you can't say, she's filling us, blah, 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 because you don't know. You don't have any proof. And also, um, just because you post for Playboy doesn't mean you don't believe in God. Tiny montage, I don't even like her. And because I haven't watched anything. I don't even know who she is, but I personally am not interested in her. But um, she posts for Playboy, and people say, yeah, she talks about Jesus. We'll stop talking to the talk and really act like you like it. You know, don't say you just do. I mean... If you don't like it, you don't like it. Just tell us. I mean, my God, you don't have to act like you love God. If you don't like God, it's okay. We really don't care. It's not up to us to tell you what you like. And um, Miley seems religious, but just because she wore that doesn't mean she's a slut. I mean, what girl have you not seen walk out like that before? There's hookers on the street. At least she's not one of those. You know, I mean, my God, y'all are like, you act so shocked when you see her. I'm like, it's just because she's in the spotlight. If no one ever even knew who Miley was, or we saw very few of her, and we saw her picture, like, whatever. We see that every day. But now that she's in the spotlight, y'all just have a cow. And y'all act like you live under a rock. It's pretty sad. Okay. What else to talk about? Okay, the poll. All right. There's another thing that makes me want to laugh all day. You think that was pole dancing. If she was trying to pole dance, she failed. Oh my god, I've watched, have you not seen like Rock of Love and Tila Tequila and Daisy or whatever? Not that I watch those shows, but I've seen them a few times and they're like grinding up on the poles, flipping and doing all kinds of stuff. She just bent down and she didn't even bend down, she didn't slide down the pole, touching her area, okay? She just bent down. She said, everyone's looking at me now. She's probably like, yeah, that's right, I'm on a pole, whatever. She probably didn't care. So y'all, she probably knew that would blow up to something big, out of proportion. She's like, you know what, I don't care, whatever. <laughs> it gets her more fame, whatever, what, whatever she does, it gets her more fame, whether it's negative or not. And she's still making money, so while y'all waste her time, yet again, 
and all of you. I was reading, watching a video yesterday about something. I think it was called Shell and Dogs on TV, and he's pretty funny. I was reading some people under the things, and one girl said, I want to hit, da I don't even know if it was a girl, actually. I want to run, hit Demi Lovato with a lawn mower. Just think about that. That's pretty sick. My God, you hate someone so much. What if you, I mean, it's just like, okay, take away their names. You're just saying their brand name. That's their name. Take that away. I want to hit that human with the lawnmower. That's more reality. That's what sounds more real. That sounds pretty gross. Doesn't matter if they're stubborn or not. You want to run someone over with the lawnmower. That's really cool. No. It's pretty weird. Yeah, you're going to end up like that cat killer in Miami. You start off with cats and you're going to go to humans for a week. Okay. With a pole. Yeah, she slid down it. And obviously she had it there for balance. But preferably if she wanted balance, she could have just sat down on it. Instead of sparking up videos about, oh my god, she's such a slut. Um, no. You have no proof about it. So I w if I were you, I'd keep your freaking mouth shut. Because I'm sure you've dressed like that before. All of you people say, oh my god, you know. It's insane. I mean, you know, acting like some of the things she wears are slutty. Like, I'm, on, I'm on some episode. I mean, let me find something that's even more slutty. <clears throat> well, I don't have anything right now, but um, um, I'll come back to that. Oh, and actually, I want to talk about this. Scene is not, you don't have to act hardcore to be seen. If you say I'm into that music and you're really not, then that's a poser. If you're into those clothes and you're really not, you're just doing that to get those people who usually dress like that to like you. And that's okay, but they probably won't. <laughs> um, you're saying Selena Gomez is a wannabe scene? No, that's just who she really is. She calls it a scene because she's poking fun of all of you people who think she wants to be a wannabe scene. She's like, that's right, you can just suck it because she doesn't care. She's going to call it the scene and you're just going to have to suck it up. So, yeah. Alright, so I thought her performance was good. So, yeah. Alright, bye.